Hello everyone. Earlier on I had a major incident where I started working on one of my repos and I realized all of the project's dependencies were out of date. This happens a lot, so I just thought, why not show off one of my greatest skills, which is identifying and updating NPM packages. It's just a fact of life. If you're in the NPM ecosystem, you've got to update NPM packages at some point. And I'll show you how I do it. So you can see on the right here, I've got my simple webpack project. Not to worry too much about what this does, but a quick description of it is just a really bare bones webpack setup that lets you display a page, run some JavaScript through Transpiler and adds it to the page. So that's all it does. And you can see the last time I worked on it was 10 months ago and I updated to the latest webpack. So in 10 months, webpack's gonna have moved on. I'm sure all of them will. On the left here, I've got my project. Uh, you've got my package JSON here, simple webpack. You can see all my dev dependencies there, and I'm gonna run npm outdated. And nothing's happened. And why is that? It's because I think it's because we've not run npm install first. So it's not able to check because it hasn't been installed. Now let's try. Yeah, there we go. So you can see. That's a major, that's not too bad. That's a couple of majors, major, mm, some minors, minors again, and major. So, could be a few problems in the, in the future on the horizon there, but we'll see. I'm thinking we can just cowboy this. CSS loader. Seeing as though this is not an enterprise thing. I, I'm not saying ever do this at your job. If you're gonna do this for work, you need to research everything, make sure everything's compatible, make sure there's no uh, vulnerabilities that you might be intro introducing. It's a big task at work, but here we are working on something for ourselves. We're just gonna see if taking it all to the list still works. Zero vulnerabilities, that's where we want to be. NPM run start. And we've got a couple of issues. I think last time I was using this, I must have been all up on Crow, but now I'm all up on Firefox. So let's get rid of that. That's not the problem there. Webpack CLI, invalid options object, dev server, it's been initialized. So if we come over to our webpack, webpack config, dev server, it's been initialized using options that does not match. So I'm guessing that's gonna be what's changed in the, in the major update of dev server. So let's go to webpack dev server. Docs. Always check the docs. I'm a big docs man. All right, and all this is doing, content base, is serving dist. It's telling the webpack setup where dist is. You can see straight away there's something that looks similar right there. So, in the spirit of cowboy, Donald Cerrone. Let's try that. npm run start. Gonna open. Ah, there we go. All it is is a web, is a gray page with test, and to prove it, hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. We got it. So it's working. And that is the long, painful journey of NPM update. Let's commit this to GitHub. Update NPM packages. Auto open. The what browser? Browser agnostic. Agnostic. Yeah. 
I don't know why I put a question mark there. I'm asking it myself. And then we can go back over to the GitHub repo and we can see now the config changed, the package JSON and the WAP. That's what we expect. All working, all up to date. And now we don't have to worry about that for 10 months. So you can see the trials and tribulations of the NPM update process there. Some of the packages I didn't even check. I just literally slapped it in and it works. And uh, it'll as long as it continues to work, I probably won't think too much more about that. The headline is, use NPM outdated. And if you enjoyed this video and you like juggling, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe.